The Seven Levels and Planes. The seven levels and planes are not separate, but operate within the context of the whole, or the all that is, and occupy the same position within time and space. Therefore, to talk about souls passing between them is more metaphorical than actual, because within each soul lies a dormant resonance with each of the first three planes that, when activated, allows entry. To pass between the realms is, in effect, more metaphorical, because to do so merely means to enter a different state of consciousness or focus of consciousness. It also means a raising of our frequency. This change state is also, in effect, the key to the door entry system that allows access. Each of these planes or bodies respond only to like vibrations. It's for this reason that using only the physical senses of sight, touch, taste, sound, and smell keep us blind to the other realms of possibility, both by design and by resonant frequency. In context with the interconnectedness of the universe, the seven planes constitute all that is, and are like a whole body, separate only in the sense that the individual parts perform different functions. Perhaps a good metaphor would be to describe them as the arms, legs, head, and shoulders of the body of the eternal mind. It's important to understand that each plane consists of a range of frequencies that are bound together within the cosmic whole. They're not separate, as so many people often think, but they do not generally penetrate beyond that. The exceptions are the sixth and seventh levels that can enter all levels and planes of being. Including the physical. Now each plane exists for its own purpose, always in tune with cosmic order and balance. Their function is individual, and yet always connected to and performing as an integral part of the greater whole. But what are these seven levels and planes?